Okay, so get this right. Imagine you're time traveling. Uh huh. But like for walls. Okay. That's kind of what we're doing today, diving into the world of Link Resta. Oh, cool. Yeah. And trust me, this is so much more than just like your grandma's wallpaper. It's funny you mention that, actually, because Link Resta has a really, really fascinating history. <laughs> um, imagine like back in the Victorian era. Okay. Everyone's obsessed with this ornate plaster work, right? Yeah. But it's like ridiculously expensive. Yeah, I bet. So Link Resta kind of comes in as this like ingenious solution. So it's like the OG uh budget hack but for like fancy walls exactly yeah but it's so much more than just a um a cheap alternative oh okay yeah link crust it's made from this like incredible mix of all natural materials mm. like in like linseed oil wood mm. flour you know things that were just kind of readily available even back then so wait hold on so we're talking like sustainable eco-friendly wall coverings yeah in the victorian era i know that's like crazy forward thinking Right. Way ahead of their time. Yeah. And the best part is this unique blend makes Lynn Cristo like incredibly durable. Okay. And I'm talking like we're talking walls that can last for generations. Oh, wow. And the way that they were able to achieve these like intricate, almost three dimensional textures, it's true craftsmanship see and that's where i always pictured like those old-fashioned floral patterns right but you were saying it's not just you know your grandma's wallpaper no absolutely not see and that's the beauty of lynn Christa. it's actually designed to be painted oh so you're basically getting this like deeply textured canvas that you can make into absolutely anything you want oh wow bold colors subtle finishes even like metallic accents lynn Christa can handle it all wow that's really cool so it's like super versatile and made to last no yeah. wonder it's still around right but, okay, I did notice on the website, they mentioned more than just, like, rolls of wall covering. They had, like, friezes and dado panels, even restoration kits. What is all that about? Well, I mean, you got to think about it. Like, those Victorians, they just loved their, like, layers and details. Wow. So, like, the friezes, those were, like, those decorative strips that they would always put, like, near the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Almost like a crown molding, you know? Right. And then um, you've got your dado panels. Those were both practical and stylish practical how so well they were often used on like the lower portion of the wall you know like the part that gets scuffed up and bumped into all the time oh yeah yeah think like high traffic hallways especially back then right 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 makes sense link krista could handle it yeah so they were like protecting their walls with style yeah i like it but restoration kits that just seems like that's some serious dedication to longevity yeah it really speaks to the uh, the quality and craftsmanship, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, imagine a wall covering so durable that it might need a little, like, TLC after uh -huh. a century or more. And these kits, I mean, they're not just, like, touch-up paint. It's like they're little time machines almost, <laughs> you know, helping to bring these historic Lincrusta installations back to life. That is wild. Restoration kits, that's, like, wild. It's like they knew right from the beginning that they were making something that was going to last forever. But, I don't know, in today's world, everyone's into fast trends and, like, you know, disposable everything. Is this level of craftsmanship even still relevant? You know, I think it might be even more relevant now than ever. Really? Yeah. I think people are really craving something with a little bit more soul. You know, yeah. Something unique. And Lynn Crusta, I mean, it's not just a wall covering. It's a statement. Mm. It's like you're saying, I appreciate quality, I value history, and I'm not afraid to be different. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. It's like that desire for authenticity, for things that last. And speaking of things that last, did you see on their website, they have the whole section on, like, projects? Yes. They've got Link Cresta everywhere, like, historic pubs in London, modern homes. Crazy. I know. And that's what's so cool about it, right? Yeah. Hey, can it, like, truly transcend time and style? I think there was even one on the website. It was like, a, they used it to, like, restore this Victorian railway carriage. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know. You could almost, like, hear the train whistle. Right. But then you see it, like, in this really sleek, minimalist apartment, adding just this touch of texture and a little history. Like, it's incredibly versatile. It's like having a little piece of the past, but in your present. Exactly. That's really cool. But, okay, the one that really blew my mind, they had Lynn Krista at, like, a hotel in the Louvre. Yeah, oh, yeah. The Louvre. I know. That's, like, iconic. Talk about iconic, right. Yeah. And it wasn't even, like stuffy or old-fashioned it was like they used a contemporary lincresta pattern but with like metallic accents oh wow 
Yeah. So it just goes to show that, you know, this material can really hold its own in any setting. Okay, that's awesome. So am I, like, ever going to see this stuff out in the wild? Or is it just in, like, these really fancy places? No, you totally could. Yeah. I mean, that's part of the charm, right? Lincrusta can be really subtle. Like, huh. you could be in just this beautiful old building, and you're, like, running your hand along a textured wall and not even realize that it's Lincrusta. Wow. It's not about being, you know, flashy. It's just about adding this, like, really nice depth and sophistication. Right, right. It's like you said it makes a statement. Exactly. It's like a secret handshake, yeah. but for, you know, design lovers. I love that. A secret handshake. <laughs> um, okay. They also mentioned stories and like installation resources on the website. What is that? Oh, yeah. That's where things get really, really interesting. Okay. So they have like this whole online community. Oh, cool. Where people, homeowners, designers, even like restoration experts, they all yeah. share their like Lincrusta stories. Really? Yeah. They're sharing tips and like inspiration, installation advice, all that kind of stuff. So it's not even just about like selling the product. It's about keeping this whole craft alive. Yeah, exactly. I love that. Mm. It's really cool that they're like, you know, building this community around Lynn Cresta. Yeah. It's not just about like slapping something on your wall. Right. It's about the history and the people and the craftsmanship. But I got to be honest with you. Yeah. After learning all this stuff about Lynn Cresta, all this history, all this craftsmanship, I still kind of wonder. What's that? Why should someone choose it today? Like it's 2024. Yeah. Yeah. There are so many options out there. Right. People want instant gratification. What makes Lynn Krista stand out? You know, it's a great question. And I think it really just boils down to this. Lynn Krista, it offers something that you just, you don't really see a lot anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, it's that connection to the past, a commitment to quality. It's a sense of enduring beauty. Yeah. It's not like, you know, just a fleeting trend. You know, this is like, it's an investment. It's an investment in something that's like, meant to last yeah it's that feeling you get when you like walk into an old building and it's been beautifully preserved yeah. and you're like there's just this presence to it totally a weight yeah you don't see that in like newer buildings and link krista can bring that Chris, to any huh? space it's yeah. like that subtle reminder that yeah some things are worth taking the time to craft to really care for and to pass down. It's not just decorating. It's like you're making a statement. Exactly. About like what you value. Totally. Wow. Okay. This deep dive has been eye-opening. I am going to be looking at textured walls very differently from now on. Me too. Me too. Yeah. It makes you kind of wonder what other hidden gems are out there. <laughs> just like waiting to be rediscovered, you know? That's such a good point. And hey, listeners, if you're out there and you see a beautifully textured wall... Maybe take a closer look. You never know. It could be Lynn Cresta, just whispering tales of history and craftsmanship. Thanks for joining us for this deep dive. We'll see you next time.